Hi everyone, this is Jeannie Ellis, and I'm also known as Scrapbooking Memo. And today I have a, a tutorial on how to make a box using that flower template up there, or die cut. So before we go on, I want to let you know to check out the description box below, and check out all the links that are in there, including to all the product and the online store. And if you look, you'll see a 25% off coupon code on your order. Now, I know the color is cutting off right now, but what I'm going to do is use this box, and I've already measured it out, so I can cut the paper out to fit that box there. I drew a line around the box, and, and there I'm cutting it out. So now I need to check to see if it's going to fit. And it looks like it's going to fit just fine. I may have to trim off a little bit to get it to fit better. And that way I can go ahead and get get it to uh, glue onto the top of it. Now on the edge there you'll see all the little ravelly pieces. Well, it's because I need a new blade. And I forgot to change it out. So uh, use that black marker there, or any black marker, and you can get take care of those edges and no one's going to notice it as you'll see later. So now let's go ahead and attach that. I've already cut out my die cut and the reason being is because I had a little bit of trouble with it and I was afraid to go ahead and try again and mess it up. <laughs> so but you can see there's a whole bunch of little white spots on there. I thought the paper was a black core and not a white core, but it was white instead. So I'm just going to take that same marker, and I'm going to just kind of clean up those edges a little bit. That way I can cover all the white spots, and then no one's going to be able to see it. So it just takes a little bit of time. You just dab a little. Sometimes you may have to right, uh, not right, but draw a little line, but most of it you dab it on, so that way it won't look so fake then. You can see my little spots there. Now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put the glue on it. Now I kind of put it on kind of crooked on purpose and the reason I did that was because I wanted to uh, make sure the whole flower got on there and I just used my brayer to make sure it got on there smooth. And I think it fit pretty good and if I had to cut any off, which I think I did, I would just cut down the bottom where the tail is of the stem. And I think I had already done that. Now, now what I did is I colored red marker into the top flower and uh, you know just to make it look more realistic and it could be seen better and I'm going to do the same thing to the other two flowers the little bud on the right and the opening of this flower on the left if you face it that is and I just wanted to trim up with some little flat sequins there well sequins are normally flat aren't they but I just want to cover up the edge a little bit just to give it a little bit more design to it and maybe cover up any of the rough edges that I have on it. So I'll you know just go ahead and I'll adjust everything as I as I go along and I'll adjust some more once I get done with that. And you see there I've already added a couple of sequins on to the top of the box and I will be adding more sequins on here in just a little bit. So it'll look a lot better with more sequins on the inside. Now this sequin ribbon, I guess you can call it, is a little bit delicate. So you have to be a little bit careful putting it on. And you can see there I have a little spot here and there that I, I need to adjust some, but I'll just do that as I go along.
okay so I've got it all done now as far as that part goes a little bit of adjusting again and it takes a little bit sometimes to go ahead and do the adjusting I'm just too picky I think sometimes but I, if I give it to somebody I want to go ahead and make it nice and yes I did use my cameo silhouette to go ahead and cut out the box I didn't do, use my own pattern I just used the pattern on the on the silhouette program now you can see there I, and I got glue on my thumb I always I'm very messy I get glue on myself all the time so but it's, it's coming out really nice and I'm going to decorate the sides of it and a little bit on the back too but I'll yeah I did the back too but I didn't do any of the extra pieces on the back because there's no lid to it and and if you want to you can line up the inside by putting chipboard in it covered with paper just to give it more of a, a special look to it make it look nicer that way I'm checking again to make sure it's all down nice and tight I told you I get pretty picky sometimes <laughs> but it's looking good you know and once you get done with it it looks always looks better then and I do want to finish coloring those flowers too and I'll put in a little color into the leaves too but they won't be as brightly shown so there we go taking off any excess glue adding some if I need to I like my little hole there because I can do that to my glues. I just kind of cleaned up a little bit there, not a whole lot, because I will need some of that stuff again for later. So now I'm going to cut out some paper, and I just have to, uh, I took my ruler, my metal ruler, and I'm measuring the width, and then I'll measure the height of each side. Of course, the height is going to be the same all the way around and it depends on your box how big uh how much paper that you need to cut out because not everybody's box is going to be the same so here i go cutting them out i love the dots on that paper and you have to cut two of course of each size so two for the front one for the front one for the back of the same size and then two for the each side, the left and the right side, they'll, they'll be, of course, the same size too. So sometimes I, I just have to double check on that because on the sizes there because sometimes I get, I get off a, an eighth of an inch or something because I didn't read it right. And with my eyes, <laughs> I have to sometimes I have to get really close to figure it out. So just getting a couple of those now and working on the second one. But, you know, the thing you don't want to do is cause it to go, uh, to cause it to be too short. And I believe, if I remember right, I did it too short on one of them and had to redo it. Okay, now it's time to measure those. And that, you know, you can clean the, the glue or whatever it is on the bottom if you get any on it. So now I'm going to go ahead and use my, probably my ATG at first. Uh, I, I love that, but I could not hang on to the paper well enough to put the, the uh, tape runner down because it was so big and the paper so little. So I do change that out, as you, you'll see here in a little bit. I really did try with it, though. I struggled with it. There we go. I have the glue going now so much easier and now if it wasn't such a little uh, little pieces it would have been okay to use a take ATG now I'm going to add some lace around the top of the edge of the sides in the front not on the back all the way around and you don't have to do that you can add uh, some more designer paper on it 
if you want to, you don't have to. But that is what I'm going to be doing is go ahead and, and add it. And I'm going to just use my liquid glue. I decide not to use hot glue because sometimes hot glue makes little bumps. And I don't want the bumps. So um, putting the glue on, and if you let it set just a little bit, it will hold faster. I didn't let it set it that way but I should have because then you have to hang on to it more or longer so takes longer to do but that glue there is really good and it does dry pretty fast enough for me to go ahead and and get it down faster than I thought I would now I'll add on the sequins later but for now I'm just taking care of the uh, the other parts of the decoration and I thought that it was real pretty on the box. And you'll see a pic couple of pictures on it here in a little bit. Getting more glue off my fingers. I've got to be the messiest crafter. <laughs> okay, now I want to go ahead and finish those flowers. And it, all you do is just put some color in between the black lines. And it turns out really nice. So I, and I already colored out the leaves. I like those kind of templates because you can do that coloring any color you want. Now there's my pink sequins, and I see I've got a few little other ones in there too. So I'm going to put the glue down, and, and then I go ahead and use my pickup stick, I guess you can call it. But I use it to put the glue down or the sequins down on top of the glue. That stick has is a little is sticky there on the end, and then when you put the glue down on the box or what your project, that will grab that sequin will grab onto the liquid glue there then instead. So I'll just be putting a few pieces on here and there. Sometimes I think I put too much on, and other times I think I didn't put enough on, and uh, so so I just never know. And I'm gonna go be. A, going up that way as you see there there it is all done and I was happier with it than I was afraid I would be it's you know it just looks kind of dimensional when you put the red on it too and I added that little flower there, a little lacy flower. I thought it looked real good, and, and I'll clean that off, too. <laughs> Forgot about it, apparently. So it may not, I may not get it off right away, but it'll be off by the time I give it to someone. <laughs> so, again, you can cover that up in there, make it sturdier. And you can put anything in there. This would be a great Mother's Day gift. So there you have it, all finished, and I hope that you will try the, try this design on a box. I would recommend a little bit bigger box, and make sure everything's all glued down and the marker is dry, of course. It doesn't take long. You know, it's a fun project to do, something different aside from a card for mom. So check out the description box and all the video links below, and I will see you on the next video.